Namaste everyone. A bindi is much more than a fashion statement or a sign of tradition and culture. This cultural practice actually has a number of health benefits. Bindi is an essential part of Bharatiya culture. No traditional Bharatiya attire is complete without putting on a bindi or a tilak on the forehead. Bindi definitely works as a style statement and enhances your look, but do you know it also good for your health? In this video, we are going to learn difference between sindoor and kumkum, importance of bindi according to Vedas, significance of bindi in acupressure, health benefits of wearing a bindi. Sindoor and kumkum. What is the difference? Apart from being the symbol of matrimony for Bharatiya women, Sindhu, that is the red vermilion powder, has some great health benefits as well. It contains turmeric, lime and cannabis. Some people say cannabis is toxic. Here is the hypocrisy of the modern science. They say cannabis is toxic, so don't use Sindhur. But do you know? These same people say that cannabis is perfectly safe to use as a gemstone and cosmetics. I'll make a separate video on this. Okay, let's get back to the topic. When Sindhur is applied on bride's upper forehead, it cools down the body and makes the women feel relaxed. It also triggers a sexual drive. And this is the reason why widows and unmarried women are not allowed to wear it. Kumkum -kum. Kumkum is formulated by the extract of Curcuma aromatica and slack lime. While turmeric that is Curcuma aromatica has many medicinal values such as anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, anti-fungal, anti-microbial and wound healing have been recognized since ages. Slack lime that is calcium hydroxide has alkaline properties. This raw material is used in various acne treating creams facial cleansers and styling agents and anti-aging products. Bindi is derived from the Sanskrit word Bindu or drop and it also represents the third eye chakra. According to the Vedas, our health that is physical and mental is controlled by seven chakras. Traditionally, the area between the eyebrows where the Bindi is placed is said to be the sixth chakra that is Ajna Chakra, the seat of concealed wisdom. Our intuition and our ability to see with vision comes from here. It is the center of divine wisdom, the spiritual eye that seeks to see and know the truth behind everything. Ajna is also known as the third eye chakra is linked to the pineal gland. The pineal gland is a light sensitive gland responsible for producing an endogenous hallucinogen dimethyltryptamin the bindi placed at this position is said to retain and enhance this energy strengthening one's concentration significance in acupressure apart from yoga the ancient chinese practice of acupressure also places a great stock in this point according to acupressure this point is known as the third eye and pressing it for a few seconds every day is believed to have a number of health benefits. Listen, ladies, you have probably noticed that it takes you some time to put on your bindi. You place it, you adjust it a little bit, then you press it down firmly to make sure it stays in place. So when you are wearing a bindi, you are actually pressing this point multiple times. Even if you don't wear it exactly between your eyebrows and place it a little higher instead, it still have the same health benefits. Health Benefits of Wearing a Bindi Relieves Headache There is a point on our forehead where bindi should be placed and according to the principles of acupressure, this point instantly gives us relief from a headache. This is because it has a convergence of nerves and blood vessels. We are instantly relaxed when this point is massaged. Clears up sinuses. As the bindi presses a specific branch of the trigeminal nerve which supplies blood to our entire face, the nose and the areas around it are stimulated. 
This helps to stimulate and increase the blood flow to the nasal passage, the mucosal lining of the nose and the sinuses. This helps to relieve a blocked nose as well, reduce swelling in the sinuses and the nose. Along with this, it also helps to relieve nasal congestion and sinusitis. Beats Insomnia The point where bindi is placed is also very effective in beating insomnia. This calms your mind as well as relaxes the muscles of your neck, upper body, face and back. Pressing this point every day for some time will help you sleep easily. It can calm your mind. The point between the eyebrows where we wear a bindi should be massaged every day as it helps to relax the muscles and nerves in this area. Along with this, it has a calming effect on our bodies. This is also the point that you subconsciously press when you are in stress situation. So, in order to be calm and have more focused mind, wear a bindi every day. Bindi and Vision The supratrochlear nerve also passes through the area where bindi is placed which is also a branch of ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. This nerve is also connected to the eyes and wearing a bindi stimulates this nerve. Stimulation of these nerves directly helps in improving vision and the eye's health. Keeping your skin young The trigeminal nerve branches covers pretty much your entire face. Stimulating this nerve helps keep your skin young and your facial muscles strong. Well, bindi definitely adds to your style but it also helps you look good in other ways. It keeps the wrinkles at bay and makes your face looks young. The point that stimulates the muscles of the face also helps to increase the blood flow to all the muscles involved. Prevents Depression the trigeminal nerve is such a key nerve that the medical community is now researching ways to stimulate this nerve with a very low intensity electric shock in order to treat depression, epilepsy and post-traumatic stress disorder that is PTSD. By pressing this nerve for a few seconds every day, you can prevent these conditions in the first place. That's all I have for today. I'll come back with a new video soon. Have a good day everyone.